So this is where he keeps his secret lures. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Quick Tips. As you can see from the start of this video, this video is all about stinking tackle boxes, and more importantly, how to fix a stinking tackle box. Now you may think this sounds a little bit ridiculous, but this has happened to me a lot. I can recall many a time when a packet of worms was left in my tackle box for a few days, and it does not smell pretty, or you know, a bag of Berkeley Gulp has a leak in it and it spills all over your tackle box it starts to smell a little ripe after a while. So today I'm gonna to show you how to fix this problem using nothing but coffee. Stay tuned and enjoy the show. All right guys, so the stuff you're gonna need is some coffee, a fork, some tin foil, and a coffee grinder. All right guys, so the first step is to grind up some coffee. Now you may be wondering why I'm grinding this coffee right now. You can just go buy ground coffee at the store. Well, I like to grind my own coffee because I think it has a much, much, much stronger smell. So that is why I do this. Um, you can try um, ground coffee, but I prefer just to grind my own, so here it goes. And it should look something like that after you're done. Okay, now take your coffee and pour it onto your sheet of tin foil. And I'm using a pretty generous amount here. You probably don't have to use this much, but I'm just going to show you. Grab your fork, just kind of flatten it down, and take your tin foil and then just kind of fold it into a very loose par parcel, kind of like this. Just like that. All right, now take your fork and just punch some holes in the tin foil, and this will basically allow that wonderful aroma of coffee to escape from this little thing, parcel. All right, so this is the tackle box we'll be using. Um, this is my little brother's tackle box, and it does have quite a strong, pungent odor in it. In here, you can see there's some gold containers that I think have kind of emptied their contents. So we're just gonna take our parcel, and before you put it in, you kind of want to shake it up and kind of agitate it and get that smell to really start seeping out of there. Just lay it in there, shut the lid leave it for about a day. All right guys, there you go. Now note there are other ways of doing it. Another way of doing it is just taking the coffee grounds and sprinkling them straight on the floor of your tackle box. And I chose not to do that because I didn't want a bunch of coffee grounds flopping around in that tackle box. My brother probably wouldn't have liked that. <laughs> this also works on coolers and any closed container that has a stinky smell in it. This will get the job done. Thanks for watching guys and stay tuned for more videos coming soon. See you later.